set up a couple slides here. And in the meantime, how many would uh, say that there was a lot of stress out there? Raise your hand. <laughs> there's quite a bit of stress, and we know that there's a lot of stress about money. Money carries a lot of energy, and with that energy, uh, that can be good energy or bad energy, depending on which side of the equation we're focusing on. Now, we're going to go backwards there. Well, we'll start right here. Here's what the Wall Street Journal says. Consumers cut health care spending as economic downturn crisis occurs. So what does that mean? The more financial struggles people have, the more they cut the expense that's going to get them out of that trap. It's kind of a dwindling spiral. Forbes magazine, what's stressing you out? How many of you have heard enough bad news? Okay. How about a little bit more? Well, here it is, in case you haven't heard enough bad news. The economy is real stressful. People are stressed out about housing costs, the state of their job. And here, debt stress causes health problems. This is a poll. We know that stress causes health problems. It can be a pain in the neck, a pain in the back. It can cause headaches, right? That's pretty obvious. But it's also causing strokes, heart attacks, and other severe problems. Even the dentists are having problems. You know, they're noticing problems in their patients. Financial stress doubles periodontal disease. I don't know if you, anybody has heard that before, uh, but we know that it causes a doubling effect, even in teeth problems. So we're going to achieve, we're going to go over stress in the first part, and then we're going to show you some tools you can use to better manage your money and help your, not your debt, but your wealth management work for you. So let's take a look about stress. What is stress? We talk about stress. Stress is all through the headlines. Stress is in the advertising. Well, what the heck is that? Nobody ever tells you what stress is. They just know you have a lot of it. And you should come in and do something about it. So this is what stress is. This is right out of Webster's Dictionary. And I'll read it. It's physical, chemical, or emotional factor that causes bodily or mental tension and may be a factor in health causation, or disease causation, rather. So we know stress causes disease. And there are three types of stress. There's physical stress on the body. That's like a fall, poor posture, sitting at a computer all day, right? There is mental, emotional, or hormonal type stress on the body. And then there's chemical stress. And each of these stresses can have a damaging effect on the body. So before we take a look at the types of stresses, we're going to do a little survey here. I'm going to pass this down this way. So you can all have what I passed some earlier. And <clears throat> while those are being passed out, let's take a look at some of the different stresses we might be experiencing. How many of you are married? <laughs> that can be stressful. <laughs> Any single people in the room? <laughs> that can be stressful too. <laughs> now, how many of you have kids? That's definitely stressful. As much as we love them, they can be stressful. There's stress in the workplace. If you're competitive in sports, that can be stressful. There's stresses all, all around us. <clears throat> So let's take a look at how stress is affecting us. Everybody have this survey? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you got one more? I do. Thank you. Oh, this one. There we go. What are you going to use? So if you've had, Thank you. in, the last, in the last couple of months, if you've had any pain, like low back pain, or neck pain, headaches, raise your hand. Mm -hmm. In the last two months. 
Well, that's not okay. But go ahead and check the box. <laughs> Another sign of stress is fatigue. How many of you in the last, now before you raise your hand, here's what I mean by that. I mean that you just felt a little pooped out. You didn't have the energy you thought you should have had. You felt a little tired. You got up in the morning, you were energetic for about two minutes, you wanted to go back to bed. How many were fatigued in the last two months? All right, check that box. Now another <clears throat> sign of stress, and this is a very common one, is stress across the shoulders, into the neck, back of the neck. How many have had that? Okay. The infamous pain in the neck. You're stress-free, man. How about now? You, now nobody, you don't have to raise your hand on this one. But how, in the last two months, if you've had digestive problems, that means like. Things weren't working the way they were supposed to, or they were working a little more than they were supposed to, a little gassy. You know, again, you don't have to raise your hand, but if that was going on in the last two months, check that box. That's not normal. And how about sleeping difficulty? Which is, before you raise your hand, it's trouble going to sleep, or you go to sleep and you wake up in about an hour, hour and a half, two hours. Right? Or you feel like you need to sleep in the middle of the day. How many have had that experience in the last couple of months? Okay, so check that box. Mm -hmm.